what happens is if people put like, especially not pre-composted or not, you know, things that haven't started to break down, you put an inch or two layer thick of this gross stuff and then it's just going to sit there and turn anaerobic. And then if people don't pay attention and they're like, oh, well, my book said that I'm supposed to feed this once a week and then they pile more in there and it hasn't gotten broken down. So that's the other number one rule with worm composting is whenever you feed your worms, make sure that you give them time to break it down before you give them more food, because otherwise you're just going to get a buildup and it's going to turn nasty. And you can tell that they've broken things down or they've gone chewed through it by uh, what's called the pool table effect. So if you're, if you're dropping things in your bin, that's chunky like that, you know, you've got this, chunky layer and then once the worms work through it you've got this nice what looks like a felt pool table that's even across the top and it's just nice fine uh fine material so that's when it's ready to feed again yep yeah you would want to wait till you're closer to where you've got fine material otherwise if you still got those chunks in there and then you're throwing more chunks on top you're going to get these nasty wet pockets of anaerobicity that um, it may not all turn anaerobic, but you're going to definitely have some pockets where like um, an avocado, you didn't eat the whole avocado and you throw that in there. And then you've got this big wad of nasty avocado mess that doesn't get broken down. And then you throw other stuff on top of there and it's still wet. So you get that anaerobic pocket where as if you let the worms break it down, they're, they're chewing through the material, spreading it out and creating an aerated environment. Good advice. Really good advice. I've never heard of the pool table effect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've never heard of that one either. 